sabro to the Triune God. Respected Rambachans, Achins, parents, friends, and my dear family, my name is Hannah Jibu. We have gathered here today with full hearts and numb minds to celebrate and remember the life of Samuel John. Firstly, let me express the family's gratitude for joining us today, all those who are present here and all those who have joined us virtually via the webcast. In times like this of grief and loss, nothing can take place of dear friends and family and the community around us. Uncle Sam is my dad's first cousin. Uncle Sam loved music and video games. He would always be watching a music video or playing a video game when I visited him. I'm grateful for the many wonderful memories I have of him. I would now like to call up John Uppachin, Uncle Sam's dad, to say a few words.
can say because my daughter and others are talking in uh, English. I am talking in Malayalam because the people in Kerala and around can understand uh, uh, something about him. Priya Deetan Sri Panya Pudhiyare Vishasyala Samuhana. Yehova Tannu, Yehova Yudutu, Yehova Vartha Pudohraadhe. In the last sentence, correct on the number of people, passing shadow, Matramana. The young Nagadhan Tula, learning and hanging and guiding room, Hungane, Nagadhan Tulvichar Tula. In Ningaladim, Ariata Yala Hiding, I am permitted Lazar Hiding, Ariana Gadigan. Even a girlfriend, the Rita Hassan, Nanivane, Nobody, but you let them in it. There was no association like you and the grandfather and the Father and the father of the brother of the association with it, while I should stand the other day. I wonder, I'm going to wear the Angana Senyarja, why you tie, and a party turned to the Nandy, a Abang in the pol, pernah kata orang yang lain asyik teri kundoi, Sunday lah, Jenisu, angane, angane, now, more irritant than a Coptic Orthodox Church, Father Vaivi Balati, Avene Mahusa, I would do Vaivi Balati, Lorena, Gatlanica, Jason, Sashum, Gatlanica, I did. Pite, Namberg, Chicago, December, Nangla, Nati Pui, Nati Poi, but on the air strike, you name it Mandasi Corre, Munos and Towns again, you know. I think there's a young Duran of the Arangatanga, Nere Boy, the particularly I don't know. Abdakavi Matthews, a general baronet, and Brenda Brasendi, the Sunday thing, Pinana, Vital Poel Angane, beginning Lana, a young Thorang. Then the session, but in the lighting and locker, or the Pinorca, I think, other lamb make a piece of a lot of a particular uh, uh, Mahasan December Lana, our Patana went to wait at Vene Kanda, our day to a dog of staff in the riding locker. I didn't know I did discuss you. I'm going to Sakari Achen, Tala Denbo, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, 
ഞങ്ങൾക്കായി വളരെയധികം പ്രയാസം ഞങ്ങൾ എല്ലാം കഴിയുന്നതാണ് വളരെ പ്രയാസം ആയി ഒത്തിരി ഈ കാലങ്ങളിലെല്ലാം ഞങ്ങൾ സർക്കരിയാജ്ഞൻ്റെ ഡിസിപ്ലിനും വീട്ടിലെ ഡിസിപ്ലിനും എല്ലാമായിട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് ഒത്തിരി ടെൻഷൻ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നവന് അത് അതിലെല്ലാം അവൻ വളരെ ഉത്തമ ഉത്തമമായിട്ട് വളരെ ക്രിസ്തീയമായ രീതിയിൽ അവന് ഇതൊന്നും പുറത്തുനിന്നും അറിയും പറഞ്ഞില്ലെങ്കിലും അവന് വളരെ ആത്മീയമായ ഒരു 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 ഇൻസ്റ്റിങ്ക് ഇതാണ് അവൻ മുന്നോട്ട് പോയത് അവന് അസുഖമായിട്ട് ഇരുന്നപ്പോൾ ഒരു ഡോക്ടർ ചോദിച്ചു നിനക്ക് അസുഖം ആ നിനക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ പിന്നെ ആത്മഹത്യ ചെയ്യാൻ ഒക്കെ ചിന്തകളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് അന്നേരം അവൻ പറഞ്ഞത് ഞങ്ങളുടെ സക്കറിയാറ്റം പറഞ്ഞ് ആത്മഹത്യ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഒരു പാവമാണെന്ന് അപ്പം അത് ആ രീതിയിലാണ് അവൻ്റെ ചിന്ത ഇത്രയോളം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നത് ഇപ്പോഴാണെങ്കിലും അസുഖമായിട്ട് കിടന്നാലും അസുഖമായിട്ടാണെങ്കിലും ഇവിടെയും നാട്ടിൽ പോയപ്പോഴും എല്ലാം പകുതി സമയവും കുർബാനയാണ് അവൻ കേട്ടുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നത് അങ്ങനെ വളരെ ഇതൊന്നും അധികം ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തില്ലെങ്കിൽ അവൻ ആത്മീയമായി വളരെ ആത്മീയമായിട്ട് ജീവിച്ച് വളരെ സന്തോഷം വളരെ സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ഒത്തിരി സഫർ ചെയ്തു അവൻ വളരെയധികം കഷ്ടപ്പെട്ട് ഈ കാലങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ അങ്ങനെ ആയിരുന്നെങ്കിലും അവൻ വളരെ ദൃഢമായിട്ട് ഈ പാതോളജിക്കൽ ടെസ്റ്റും ഈ ബ്ലഡ് ടെസ്റ്റും ഇതെല്ലാം അതിനെല്ലാം എല്ലാം വളരെ തൻ്റെ ഇടമായിട്ട് എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും അവന് ഒന്നും മാർജി നിൽക്കാതെ എല്ലാം ചെയ്ത് ജീവിക്കണമെന്ന് വലിയ ആഗ്രഹമുള്ള അവനായിരുന്നു അസന്തോഷമായിട്ട് എല്ലാവരുമായിട്ട് മറ്റുള്ളവർ ജീവിക്കുന്നത് പോലെ ഞാൻ ജീവിക്കണമെന്നുള്ള ആഗ്രഹമായിരുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് അവൻ ഇങ്ങനെ അകാലമായിട്ട് മരിക്കുന്നെങ്കിലും ഞാൻ ആത്മ ഞങ്ങൾ ആത്മസംതൃപ്തിയോടെ അവനെ പറഞ്ഞു വിടുന്നത് അവൻ ഇത്രയും ഈ കഷ്ടപ്പാടുകളെല്ലാം സഹിച്ച് ഇത്രയും നാൾ മുന്നോട്ട് വന്ന് ഞങ്ങളെ ജീവിച്ചതിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ വളരെ സന്തോഷം അപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ പറയാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് ഈ യേശു ക്രിസ്തു ജീവിച്ച അതായത് യൂത യൂത ഗ്രഹം യൂത ടൈമിലാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ യേശു ക്രിസ്തു ജനിച്ചത് യൂത യേശു ക്രിസ്തു യൂത ടൈമിൽ ജനിച്ചിട്ട് ഒരു ആട്ടിൻകുട്ടിയായി മറ്റുള്ളവർക്ക് യാഗമായി തീർന്നത് പോലെ ഇവനും ഈ നമ്മൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇവിടെ വൈക്ക് വേണ്ടി കൊല്ലപ്പെട്ട ഒരു യാഗമായിട്ടാണ് കാണപ്പെട്ട് കാണുന്നത് കഴിഞ്ഞ ഒരു മാസമായിട്ട് വളരെ പ്രയാസമായിട്ട് അവൻ അവൻ കാട്ടുന്നതുകൂടി അതിലെല്ലാം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേദനയുണ്ട് അവനും വേദനയുണ്ട് അവസാനത്തോളം അവൻ അലേർട്ടായിരുന്നു വിജിലൻ്റായിരുന്നു ആ കൂടെ ഞങ്ങൾ സംസാരിക്കുകയും കാണുകയൊക്കെ ചെയ്ത് അങ്ങനെ വന്നതിന് ഞങ്ങൾ ആത്മസംതൃപ്തരാണ് അങ്ങനെ അവൻ കൊല്ലപ്പെട്ട ഒരു മുന്നാടായിട്ടാണ് ഞാൻ അതിനെ കണക്കാക്കുന്നത് മിസ്റ്റിക്കൽ സെൻസിൽ അങ്ങനെ അതുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങളെല്ലാവരും നാൽപ്പത് ദിവസം ആണ് ഇവൻ ആത്മാവ് ഒ ആർ ഇക്കൂടെ യാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നത് നാൽപ്പത് ദിവസം ശാചികളുമായിട്ടുള്ള പോരാട്ടത്തിൽ മലാകുമാരുമുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ നാൽപ്പത് ദിവസം നമ്മൾ അതിന് വേണ്ടിയും അവൻ്റെ ആത്മാവിന് വേണ്ടിയും പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച് അനുഭവമുള്ള പ്രതിസായിട്ടെന്നും നമ്മൾ എപ്പോഴും പ്രാർത്ഥനയിലും ഉപാസനയിലും കഴിയണമെന്നുള്ള എൻ്റെ ആഗ്രഹം നിങ്ങളോട് പറയുന്നു ഇവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ ഇത്രയെല്ലാം ഈ കൂട്ടത്തിൽ വളരെ വളരെയധികം ആളുകൾ അന്നെ സഹായിക്കുകയും ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കുകയും ചികിത്സിക്കുന്ന കാര്യത്തിലും അവൻ്റെ പേഴ്സണൽ കാര്യങ്ങളും ഇടവകയിലും ഇടവകയിലും വീടിയിലും എല്ലാം വളരെ കാര്യമായിട്ട് നിങ്ങളെ അവനെയും ഞങ്ങളുടെ എല്ലാവരെയും പരിപാലിച്ച് ഞങ്ങളെ നാട്ടിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നന്ദി പറയുന്നു നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവർക്കും സമാധാനവും സന്തോഷവും ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കട്ടെ
will now hear from San Michael's sister, Minyanti. Respected Rembachan, Achan, family and friends, this has been a very difficult few weeks for us. But I would like to say a few words to reflect on the life of Sammy, my youngest brother. Sammy was our bundle of joy, and it was my job as the eldest to take care of him when he was young. And I loved it because I treated him as my real life doll. I didn't need any Barbie or Cabbage Patch doll as I had Sam. But the only thing was he used to be very mischievous. He always succeeded in aggravating me and he loved it. But you know, that's what siblings are for. And like Anita always used to say to me, Mum, you and Tom got the good genes, looks, intelligence, and you didn't leave much for Sam. But I said to Anita, that's okay because the greater the struggle in this life, the greater be the reward in heaven. Sammy, you weren't given a fair chance in this life, but I think you are happy in your own world of Star Wars, Superman and Luke Skywalker. Sammy, even though you couldn't explain it deep down, we know you had a big heart. And for someone who couldn't express much, you could certainly register a cheeseburger being discussed three rooms away. I took Sam to Rye last year to spend some time with our lovely neighbours, Michael and Liz. And after having a nice big lunch that they provided, he said to me, Min, what about my Big Mac? Even whenever I picked him up from a Nimda, he would say as soon as he saw me, Big Mac Min. He definitely had a good culinary sense for junk food. And Sam also loved going to Colac. Auntie Mariama actually texted me recently, giving me a list of all his nuances. And she explained to me that he actually loved her cooking. And I thought, that's right, that's why Sam loved going to Colac. Now most of you may not know this, but Sammy was one of the first deacons for St. Mary's Indian Orthodox Cathedral. He served on the altar in the early years of the church under the guidance of our first vicar, Father P.K. Scurrier. And I know for a fact that Sammy loved coming to church. Although the last few years it became more and more difficult. I know he came for Passion Week for the last time last year with his carer, so I'm very grateful for that. To our parents, both strong-willed to never leave him home and make sure he was looked after to the end taking him to India to regularly catch up with our family members. Despite his condition, they made sure he was given all the opportunities because there was nothing more they wanted than to see him live a normal adult life. Sammy, your challenges were enormous, but God was holding your hand all the way. That's why I'd like to thank Aji Achan because you were able to take, give him Holy Kurbana for the last time last Sunday in hospital, and I'm ever grateful for that. I'm also thankful to Freddie Action for praying and singing hymns with you on Tuesday during your hour of need and assist you in your journey to your heavenly abode, which will be your permanent home. As the Bible says, the blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. As an Orthodox Christian, we know that death is not the end, but the beginning, the beginning of eternal life with Christ, a place of no suffering and no pain. And as St. Paul said, O oh death, where is your sting? O oh grave, where is your victory? But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. On a final note, Sammy, we will all miss you, but I look forward to seeing you again and to stand with you and all the faithful at the last resurrection and by God's grace to be an heir to his heavenly kingdom.
ഇടവഴിയുടെ കുളിർ ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരു കാണി ആലക്കി Good. 
ಕರ್ತಿಂಗೆ ಪಾನ ಪಾತ್ರ ಕರ್ತಾವೆಂದೆ ಕೈಯ ಸಂತೋಷ ತೋಡತು ವಾಂಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಲೂಯ ಪಾಡಿ ಸಂತೋಷ ತೋಡತು ವಾಂಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಲೂಯ ಪಾಡಿ say so few words you are representing all the priest glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit one true god from ages unto ages of ages amen may the holy spirit be with us as we perceive the word of god for us today very reverend peter rambachan respected ajay achan priya charles achan and sujit achan who i expect is to arrive shortly yes john uncle and the santi and family especially the families of dr thomas and many all relatives and friends of this big family all who are here or perhaps online for any reason we have gathered here on the occasion of the funeral of samuel john or sam and we have heard i believe from the perspectives of yes uncle and many he has been a big part of their lives their memories and feelings are many but we have now come to the point of giving him a blessed farewell on this occasion and before the final service arranged by the saint mary's in the orthodox cathedral we are called to reflect on the message for the occasion and i need to thank ajay chand for having given me this opportunity again i also take this opportunity to um, convey our condolences uh, to the extended family and friends of sam on behalf of my family and of all of us who would not be able to personally convey that condolence two days ago at their residence i had been called to share the word of god and a message to the family on that occasion was to accept the pain that is given to us it is a hard thing but this bereavement and this letting go it is a pain that we have to accept we are called by christ to accept our cross and follow him and also the second message was also to keep the hope of the resurrection that we know that in our lord jesus christ he will also rise up and he will come again and so we keep that hope as well and the perspective of that message was specially focused on the family on the friends but today i would like to especially speak from the perspective of of sam because uh, when we are talking about uh you know death and if you reflect on what is death we have been taught by uh, very reverend late very reverend b c samuel achan another samuel that as given in his orthodox catechism on the faith and of the life of the church he reminds us that the when the breath of life which is the spirit that has blown into man by god separates itself from the body it falls dead so god gave the breath of life and that spirit was in him 
and that is separated from it and the folly the body decomposes but the spirit or the person lives on so uh, although achin also tells us that once a person dies they cross the realms of space and time that we know and where and when but at this point we can say that although this body is here his spirit or soul is also hovering around over here and he is also wanting to communicate but during his days he may not have been able to speak of course from our perspective we are talking from the perspective of a christian and we know also and i would like to also share basically from again the words of saint paul philippians chapter 1 verse 21 for me to live is christ and to die is gain for me to live is christ and to die is gain so to live is christ because he was baptized in our church into the body of christ and he served also in the altar as reminded to us he lived his life as part of a faithful family one of the founding members of the orthodox church here in melbourne and also in australia therefore and he has led a life in christ now of course i know that we have this big question that he went through certain challenges in life beyond sometime beyond the first decade of his life something changed and he had to carry a greater cross than many of us have been and yet jesus christ also came into this world to suffer so for me to live as christ says if you look at the perspective of samuel as a christian for me to live it was to be like christ as he suffered i also suffer and at this time also i would like to share the agony that probably uncle and auntie also siblings have gone through i do have a child with a disability and when we live like that with a child who is struggling we also learn new perspectives our dreams for a child as that person would grow and do well they shatter but then new dreams are formed and new hopes and aspirations we realize that our child cannot do what the world would consider as normal but then we are called to form new dreams according to what that person is called to in life and perhaps they have also a message for us so he is also the dreams that we had as of now to have a longer life are shattered but new dreams are formed and these dreams are formed in christ because as it says for me to live is christ and to die is gain from saint peter's from saint paul's perspective he also suffered a lot he also was persecuted and was a great teacher of the church and suffered a lot and he also died samuel also has suffered and yet if he says for me to live is christ and to die is gain yes because you grow closer to christ when his soul leaves here now we believe that for the next 40 days according to the faith of the church his spirit also stays around to also let go also experiencing life over here in a different state and yet as our lord jesus christ ascended into heaven on the 40th day he also would be taken up and what we are called to do is to pray for his soul that he may have a safe departure and not to be taken by the demons but by taken by the holy hosts or the angels that the lord wishes for each one of us and as we hope and pray for that journey 
we know that he is also called to be closer to Christ as he departs this body and this life because when we are on this planet we are totally engaged with what is there in front of us we don't think as much about god but this opportunity the stage before the resurrection is also a time to be closer to christ and also to die is gain also in the sense that the struggles that he has gone through he is letting go and so it is gain also and if i may also be frank enough to share with you there is a challenge that goes with the carers we as carers for people with disability also go through certain challenges and we are may not be able to do what we wish to do otherwise now he is free to do what he is called to do in this particular realm of his now you are also called to be free we are also called to be free from those responsibilities of caring and yet the only cause that is left to us is to pray for his soul dearly beloved as we are gathered here on this occasion i would just like to emphasize this one more thing that he has had is having a blessed farewell perhaps better than many of us may have last night i came to know about a lady an orthodox lady in dubbo she was sleeping in the night at 3 or 4 the house caught fire she did not realize and she got asphyxiated she was taken to hospital on ventilator and she gave up her life a 32 year old married woman with no children couple of years ago they had this new house they had great dreams and aspirations but that particular moment they never expected that she would pass away but samuel has been probably seeing this coming over the past few weeks there has been a struggle that we know that he has been he had of course pneumonia and then the complications that go with parkinsonism and he was struggling he was inanimate so to speak achan gave him holy kurbana and we know that our lord jesus christ has said he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life and this is a great gift that he has received when i happen to be there to pray and i said the prayer as a priest would i also held up the book to him for the prayers that the sick person is supposed to say and he was paying close attention to it and i believe that he was also very much trying to say those words in his heart and his mind and we also know that his funeral this achan has been also having prayer services through the day and i also he's also preparing for this departure that he is getting but today is the day of lazarus saturday it is by absolute coincidence or god intent that he is having his funeral on this day jesus loved lazarus and he wept for him and he weeps with us also in our agony and yet he help him to rise up from the dead and this is our hope and our resurrection and our, and our hope especially he would also be with us for this holy week and then he would participate therefore as an angel in a new form along with the other susushakar for this holy week he will also participate in the death of christ and also the resurrection on the third day and on the 40th day as our lord jesus christ ascended into heaven he would also be entering into the realm of the land of the departed or sheol a closer state to the lord waiting for the second coming of our lord jesus christ and what we are called to do is pray for his soul that the lord may have mercy upon him and upon us that when he comes again he may hold us to be with him on the right 
and we may be with him in eternity. I hope and pray that the Holy Spirit will be with Samuel's soul and also with all of us as we deal with the bereavement and accept the pain and yet hold on to the hope that we will meet again and yet when we meet again that when Jesus may judge him and us he may have mercy upon us and this is to be the essence of our prayer when we also participate in our funeral service I hope and pray that the Holy Spirit will guide each of us in our thoughts in our words in our actions as we learn to accept the privilege that he has had to have this blessed farewell and perhaps we may not if we have a sudden departure from the world have that this is our also a time of preparation for us to prepare to meet the Lord I hope and pray that the Holy Spirit will guide each one of us in our respective roles may God be with us Thank you, Acha. I would now like to call the secretary of this church, Philip Uncle, to say a few words. Respected very Reverend Peter Rambachan, with our Reverend Father Ajike Vargis, Reverend Father Charles Ponachan. Reverend Father Ferdinand Patros, Nesti IOC Vigar, Reverend Father Sujimo and Makala, and family members of Mr. Samuel John and dearly beloved in Christ. On behalf of everyone gathered here today and representing St. Mary's Indian Orthodox Cathedral, I extend our deepest condolences to the bereaved families during this incredible difficult time. Losing a loved one is never easy and words often fall short in expressing the depth of sorrow we feel. In moments like this, it's important to lean on the love and support of those around us. Mr. John Angle, Ali Sandy, Dr. Tom and family, Dr. Alex and family, and I want to reassure you that your church family at SMIOC stands with you, ready to offer comfort, strength, and a shoulder to lean on whatever you need it and whenever you need it. As we come together to mourn the loss of Mr. Samuel John, let us also celebrate the faith Sam displayed, a faith I have witnessed many times at this church. He arrived early for services, participated in Holy Kubana, and took Holy Communion whenever possible. I personally admired him and his unwavering commitments to the church despite his challenges. I vividly recall the time he came to church with a carer, determined to attend the Holy Kubana. I was fortunate to assist him then. This memory remains etched in my mind, a testament to his faith that will live on in our hearts forever. Sam, both as an individual and as part of the, our church community, will not be forgotten. To the family members of Sam, may you find peace amidst your grief. And may you feel God's comforting presence surrounding you now and always. Finally, Sam, <clears throat> you will be missed among us. May the comforting embrace of God's love welcome you into eternal peace. May you find solace and rest in the presence of the Almighty. May the Almighty grant you place in the bosom of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God bless you all. Now, SMIOC Vigar, Reverend Father Ajike Vargis, place the Sosapa on the departed dear Sam. On behalf of SMIOC, Trustee Mr. Kochumun Vergis and Secretary Philip and John will place a wreath to honor Sam at the church.
on behalf of smioc mathamarim samajam secretary anamol ashley will place a wreath now anamol ashley and rani anil now on behalf of smioc couples fellowship secretaries of the couples fellowship mr alex kalivrekel and mrs jisha benny will place a wreath now now on behalf of the prayer groups mr subin kochimon will place a wreath now now let me smi sgioc vikar and the trustee um, vikar reverend father sujimon um, sujin maplachan and the trustee raji will place a wreath now may god bless you all Thank you, Philip Banco. There are no words to express the mixture of feelings that we are feeling in this moment. Sadness for because this amazing man is no longer with us. Joy for Uncle Sam because his long life of living with hardships is now complete, and he is at peace. He is at peace with God. I know that the support and the kind words offered by Achins and friends have been a great comfort to John Upperton and his whole family at this difficult time. On behalf of his family, on behalf of his family, I would also like to honor and thank the multitudes of people who have helped Sam Uncle all through his life. After our time here at the cathedral, the family would like to invite you to join us on Sam Uncle's final journey to Eltham Cemetery Trust. where we will say our last goodbyes to conclude for today i leave you with an excerpt from a poem by an anonymous author god saw you getting tired he knew that you were suffering he knew that you were in pain so he wrapped his heart arms around you and whispered come unto me he saw the road was getting rough and the hills were hard to climb so he closed your weary eyelids and whispered peace be thine it broke our hearts to lose you but you didn't go alone for a piece of our hearts went with you uncle sam i will miss you very much but then but i know that you are resting in the abode of the saints our heavenly father and our departed ones rest in peace thank you now i will call on our uncle to say a final word of thanks metropolitan of diocese of madras his grace giver gismar felix knows called me to convey his prayers and condolences to john uncle's family and again i would like to share the prayers and condolences from former metropolitan of diocese of madras his grace dr yohan and mar dioscoros to the breathing breathing family again former madras and ioce secretary reverend father orgis walai wanted to extend his prayers and condolences to the um, john angles family thank you please stand up for our prayer let us pray <clears throat> Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, O God. 
Holy art thou, O God. Lord, how mercy upon us. Glory be to thee, O God. Our Father who art in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace. Lord is with the God, this soul that has now departed from this temporary life and left this world of vanity to be led by your holy angels to the places of rest, joy, and exaltation until the day of resurrection and there to face you with the confidence of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I have passed out mine like one who is dead. Hallelujah. I have become like a broken vessel. I have heard the whispering of many. Hallelujah. As they skimmed together against me. They plotted to take my soul. Hallelujah. But, but I, I trust, trust in you, you O oh my Lord. Lord. I said, O oh Lord, you're my God, hallelujah. And my times are in your hands, Parakimu. O good and merciful one, don't condemn your faithful. Don't know, bring, bring them judgment, judgment for none who win victory by your loving kindness, Lord, rise all the faithful to life. O oh, good one, we all praise you. Let us all pray and beseech the Lord for mercy and compassion. O oh, merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Consolation of those who are sad, and the joy of those who are mourning, and gladness of those who are lamenting. To him be faith, glory, and honor at this time of the funeral of our son, and the servants, and all the days of our lives for ever and ever. Amen. Oh, great Lord and God, the eternal light, abundantly gracious and truth, light and life and the source of immortality, creator of all, the one who sets the world and its changes in order, who is terrible, glorious in his commandment, and long-suffering and merciful, before whose divine vision secrets do not uh, remain hidden, the depth of the thoughts and the meditation of the heart are revealed and manifest before you. Your judgments are incomprehensible, and your ways are unscrutable. You did send your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to the world in order to abolish death and to destroy the dragon which kills man. 
He preached life and immortality to every soul that was willing to listen. By your commandment, we are sent away from this world of sufferings to the glorious and before you, O Lord Almighty, and the ruler of both worlds, we offer up supplication and petition at this time of the funeral of your servant who has separated and left from this earth that you may receive his souls to your gentle angels who takes it and makes it to dull in the heavenly abodes. Deliver, O Lord, his soul from the grasp of evil spirits Rescue it from the violence of the enemy. May the host meet it like those who which surround the devotees of your name and those who do not your will. <coughs> Remit his sins completely by your love for humanity. Blot out his offenses perfectly by your loving kindnesses. Send your help for his journey manifestly. Stretch out towards him your right hand, full of grace, that he may be drawn out of the uh, will pool of second death. Support him by your invisible power. Rescue him from the terrible passages of demons. Do not condemn him for his transgressions, for all are guilty before you. O oh Lord and God, have pity on the weaknesses of our nature. In him and in us, remember your divine name that has been invoked upon us and your abundant mercies. May the venerable passions of your only begotten Son for the salvation of our race introduce us and on your behalf. May your mercy and grace down upon him May the victorious cross in which he believed become for him a pillar of light that makes him to dwell among the congregation of your saints. May your loving kindness manifest him that Satan, the enemy of our race, may be put to shame as his evil desires was not fulfilled. Be to this your servant, O Lord, fortress, guide and guardian and helper until he reaches the blessed abodes of those who fear your name. May he rejoice there in your eternal glory and may he forget his grief, sorrows and afflictions and rejoice in the bosom of Abraham. Make us all your worshippers prepared for all these things that with pure and blessed life Free from sins, we may have a peaceful departure which is not subdued by evil hosts of darknesses. Look at us with a merciful eyes, O Lord. Comfort those who are mourning. Console those who are in sorrow. Gladden the faces of those who are sad. Remove tears and sorrows from those who glorify you. Be the hope and the trust of everyone, everywhere according to his need. Grant, O Lord, by your grace, which upholds all of us, arrest us with the saints in the blessed abodes, to all our parents and brethren and leaders who have already set on journey towards you in the hope of your Christ and looking for his great and glorious revelation. We also are looking for meeting him with confidence, without shame, that oh, uh, all of us who remain here and the servants already departed <coughs> and redeemed by your Lordship may be held worthy to glorify and to exalt your adorable and incomprehensible name in your eternal kingdom. O Lord and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always forever and ever. Amen. From God may 
be received remission of sins and forgiveness of dust in both ways forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yonam Lasarine Kabare Awanam Chayida Sreshta Vinyakna Tuni Yutta Namaha Divase Brudari Eti Cherkum Yoshafatana Sanustana Til Arjanerikum Thronos Satividika Talamuragal Vana Tidum Nada Sarvesha in Manamalil Karunyam Chayanamni Prana Pradanalu Uriora Hinmelanuada. Bless me, Lord. We take refuge in your merciful God, and we offer this fragrant incense, and we beseech you for this soul that has departed from this life by your commandment. May it be delivered from the cruel grasp of demons and from the crafty band of enemies that are in the air and the are invisible. May his soul travel and beseech your holy abodes and the cities of living by your abundant mercies towards us. Our Lord and our God forever and ever. Dhanin Mashiga Vakkal Mradariya Pipo Tankal Panapa Lichor Kal Tejo Vastram Nal Edum Magane Rajyate Dirilpa Avarme Gangali Leri Verim Avananda Todarkum Vande Rikai Kondi Edavin Kalpana Kato Kai Mumbe Tadan Kariduma Rajim Mamodi Sani Rilnum Rushma Etore Mradari Vaidingal Kundashi Padradi Logatin Dira the Yumbratia Sedum Rabi Pin We rode in Ilkum Ningal Kedi Dum din di da de kallarai nam parodisa pugan vasarama sannam barakumor shabhala bola braval roha kadisho dhanin baulo sliha chonnevam kete mrdare yorti taral ningal kuyate. Asi cedunne vanil vala nadatta brudal lari miran nilkum talkali gamami gatram nitya daye pravi cedun dhanu vir nilkum kedil ladu tanatin alil mena olam vada mena olam ulmi na mi. Marshi kete tade ay chitta babil ti chulail ba lan maril virti jiva pan nira pradivogata gulamiram bhavanam nalil marivum noril inna bayatil nidhiram dasan mardan piramoki tavagasham nalgiyam. How cruel and bitter is the day of death. It is a day of sorrow and mourning. Console us, O Lord. The day of death is a chalice for all. It is bitter and sorrowful in you. Console us, O Lord. Death which captures soul suddenly seized him and did not warm him of his last moment. Comfort him, O Lord. The prophets were dead, brother cannot say, 
Nor can a friend help is fulfilled today. Only you, Lord, can save him. You should all grieve for this departed one and mourn for yourselves, for it is certain that death comes for you. May your mouths praise you, for you raise the dead. They will inherit the kingdom, O Lord, and they shall praise you. Parishadhanay Paulo Sriha Kurindir Kirdi on the lake and at the num. Ah, I bark him on. The lesson from the first epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Ah, I bark him My brethren, but someone will ask, How are the dead raised? With the kind of body do they come? For what, what do you saw does not come to life unless it dies. As, and as for what you saw, you do not saw the body that is to be but a bare seed, perhaps of wheat or some other grain. But God gives it a body as he has chosen, and to each kind of seed in its own body. Not all flesh is alike, but there is one flesh for human beings, another for animals, another for birds, and another for fish. There are both heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly is one thing, and the other earthly is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. Indeed, star differs from stars in glory. So it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable. What is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in a physical body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. Thus it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being, and the last Adam became a living, giving, life-giving spirit. But is not the spiritual that is first, but the physical, and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven, as was the man of dust. So are those who are of dust, and is the man of heaven. So are those who are of heaven. Just as we've borne the image of man of dust, we will also bear the image of the man of heaven. What I'm saying, brothers and sisters, is this. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I will tell you the mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and will be changed. For this perishable body must be must put on imperishability, and this mortal body must put on immortality. Ahai, Barakimo. Hallelujah, hallelujah, make your face shine upon your servant, and save him by the abundance of your grace, hallelujah. Blessed is he who has come and is to come. Glory be to him who sent him for our salvation. And may his mercy be upon us all forever. Blessed is he who has come and is to come. 
Son can do nothing of his, of his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever he does, that the Son does likewise. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing, and greater works. Then this will he show him that you may marvel. For as the Father is the dead and gives, the, gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son. Even as they honor the Father, he who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment but has passed from death of life, truly, truly, I say to you that hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, as he has granted the Son also, to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the son of man. Do not marvel at this for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. Let us all stand well with fitness, sadness, and sorrow, and let us respond with voice pleasing to God, saying, Kurie nai son. O Christ our God, who is the Lord of death, and departure, O God of all the spirits, and of all the flesh who has authority over life and death, we beseech you. O Lord who said, I am the resurrection and the life, and everyone who believes in me has eternal life, and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life, we beseech you. O Lord who is in his wise dispensation, has appointed and commanded what way, when the cause came from, of death begins from the feet of every mortal. And before it teaches the head, his mind shall run towards repentance. We beseech you. O Lord, who has delivered and rescued all of our souls from the dominion of the accuser and his host, rescue the soul of our brother Samuel, from those who stand in the air to capture the souls of the wicked and lead his soul to the heavenly Jerusalem, we beseech you. Enlighten, O Lord, all of our souls by the splendid rays of your life giving you resurrection that we may go out to meet you in your second coming and that along with all your saints. 
We may glorify you and your Father and your Holy Spirit. Let us cry out and say, Krelaison. Krelaison, Krelaison, Krelaison. The power of the mighty one will descend to the tomb, and his works there will amaze the angels for the bones of the righteous will be brought together. And souls and bodies will rise in corrupt glory to you, Lord, the whose voice arose, Lazarus, after he had undergone corruption at your entrance, the daughter of Jairus, awakened at the sound of your voice, the dead will rise. Please the exalted one who descended to Sheol and visited Adam and said to him, Grieve not that you transcript my commandment, for I am the Lord who makes to die and gives life. Mena volam vadamal volam valmina me. The wise creator in his divine wisdom has bound the whole world beneath the yoke of death and removes exalted kings from their king's places and he removes the mighty judges from their seats by the fragrant incense made the faithful departed who ate your body and blood be absolved and may they may raise her to your right hand and offer praise to you, Lord, for you raise them to life. Our Lord will come to raise up dead and grant hope to the departed. May, beloved, I have gone from you. Pray for me that I may receive it. Blessed is he who has ordered death, which comes for both the good and wicked. He then is the day of your coming, for in a flash you will raise the dead. I am afraid for all my past needs. Pray for me that I may receive it. O oh, my brethren, pray for me always and grant me peace now and forever. Oh, to you your death and to say Satan, for Christ will come and destroy your reign. When the Lord comes in his great glory, the dead will rise, I will sing praises. Close my grave and go in peace knowing Christ will open at his coming. Death will vanish when the Lord's voice sounds, and the dead will raise and sing praises. Without warning, the day of the Lord will come and he will raise up a dead. The cherubim and seraphim will both say welcome, heir of paradise. Glory to you, O Christ our Savior, for death and life are subject to you. The Lord who came for our salvation is to come for our resurrection. The soul that takes refuge in your cross will receive you mercy when you come. We worship we worship you, O Christ our Savior, who destroyed death and gave life to man. Bodies and souls worship you, O Lord, for at judgment you will bring both life. You have now crossed the place of danger, and your ship has reached the shores of joy. Since I consumed your flesh, may your voice wake me up to rise and give you thanks. May your lost cross be a bridge for you, that you may cross the the place of danger. The living voice will sound in the waves, and from their tombs the devil will praise him. By, By your grace, Lord, have mercy on me, have compassion on me when you come. The new sun will rise for all the dead, and they will raise him who raises them. May the church with her children worship the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. At the last, the angels and archangels on highest in heaven sing praise. So we poor children of earth sing praise and sing. At all times and at all seasons, glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, peace and tranquility, and good hope for sons of men. We praise you, we bless you, we bless you, we worship you, 
we raise up a hymn of praise to you. We give thanks to you because of your great glory, glory, Lord our Creator, King of heaven, Lord the Father Almighty. Lord God, O listen, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of God, O Father, who take away or rather have taken away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. You who take away or rather have taken away the sin of the world, incline your ear to us and receive your praise. You who sit in glory at the right hand of the Father, have compassion on us. Because you only are holy, you only Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. At all times and all the days of my life, I will bless and praise your name, which is holy and blessed forever, and which remains forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, and your name is blessed and glorified in praise forever. To you belongs glory, to you belongs praise, to you belongs honor, God of all, Father of truth, with the Holy Son and living Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, don't close the door of your mercy in our faces. We confess that we are sinners, have mercy upon us. O oh Lord, your love made you descend to us from your place, that by your death our death might be abolished. Have mercy upon us. Amen. How art thou, O God? Holy art thou, O mighty, holy art thou, immortal, crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, almighty, holy art thou, immortal, crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, almighty, holy art thou, immortal, crucified for us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, be kind and have mercy. Lord, accept our service and our praise. Have mercy on us. Glory be to the O God. Glory be to the O Creator. Glory be to the O Christ the King, who has compassion on His sinful servants. Bark more. Our Father who art in heaven. Lord, be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts and sins, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with thee, Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee, and bless the Lord of the and bless the fruit of thy womb, our Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, in Saint Mary, O Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at all times and at the hour of our death. Amen. We believe in one true God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, begotten of the Father, before all ways, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made, being of one essence with the Father, and by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God, became man and was crucified for us in the days of Pontius Pilate, suffered and died and, died and was buried, and on the third day rose again according to his will and ascended to heaven and sits at the right hand of his father and shall come again in his great glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the one living Holy Spirit, the life giving Lord of all, who proceeds from the Father and who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets and the apostles. And in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and we conserve one baptism for the remission of sins and look for resurrection of the dead and a new life in the world to come. Amen. Makalapan Guru Deva Dubole, Hallelujah. Bakun Maril Devam Guru Deyum. Nitulim Arenulan Algalaho, Hallelujah. 
പൂക്കുന്നിത് വയലിൽ പൂച്ചെടി പോലെ പാറക്കുമോ respected very reverend peter thomas ramban vicar of st mary's indian orthodox church ajivargi sachin vicar of st gregorius church uh, subinvargi sachin vicar of uh, st mary's indian orthodox church charles monachan and our beloved ferdinand patro sachin on behalf of our parents es and alice john tom and mini i would like to thank peter thomas ramban was present at our home and today for the funeral services on behalf of our parents es alice john tom and mini i would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to uh, the vigar ajiyachan for all the support during these difficult times and for coming to the austin hospital and administering holy kurbano on behalf of our parents es alice john mini and tom i would like to extend our thanks to subinachan who have come to our house conducted the prayers and offered our support on behalf of mom tom mini we extend our thanks to ravan father charles monachan who drove all the way from woga woga to be present for today he has been ringing me and asking me about sam's progress when he was in the hospital almost every day i don't have no words to thank but to express my sincere thanks and deep gratitude to reverend father ferdinand patros who was with sam during his final days during pray doing prayers and singing hymns with him i also would like to extend our thanks to all the carers especially those who came to the hospital and stayed with him uh, during the hard times i like to extend my sincere thanks to papan es karia and ela mama who is at home giving the full time support to mom and dad then again there's a couple of people i can never forget um daniel joy he was always there to fix the computer for sam and um i like to extend our thanks and gratitude to all carers uh, who came and supported sam during his difficult times especially jisha david the support coordinator uh, who provided him with utmost care um I like to extend our thanks to Binoy and Bijoy from Brisbane, Disha from Daycare Center, Roshan and Suja who came all the way from Sydney. I'd like to extend our heartfelt thanks to Victoria Funerals who arranged all these things for us. Um on behalf of all Colonel Dayeth, 11 Nilkunadil family Melbourne, 
Vardavulayal family and Varpurayal family, we extend our gratitude and thanks to everyone who is present here, especially today and for the prayers yesterday. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. Anybody is wanted to see in the last moment, please come forward and give your respect to the body. Oh, my dear loved ones, why do you stand far? Come near to me, give me peace and pray for me. Come lament with songs, weep and mourn for me. Today death has cast me down to Sheol. When death's angel came to take me away, I looked around and found none who could help me. Lord, who is present? To those who call you, rise me up to the right hand of your Godhead. Oh, my dear loved ones, I am terrified. Great fear seizes me and the disturbs my mind for the Christ the King and Savior of the world has sent for me so I go with great sorrow be at peace O world and you who live of no use for those who love the world. See, I am taken away from you all to give an account to the gentle who knows all. Oh, let you is beautiful when one rejoices with friends you sadden me blessed is Christ who crushed the reign of death and with his life gladdens those who are grieving as the lilies of the field are clothing, garments that are not woven by human hands. At resurrection, the just shall be clothed in garments woven. When by the Holy Spirit, O Brugayo, the Subo, Vadein, Mauto, Basaraban, Saburo, Bahaya, Sumise. Praise the living one who tasted death and has shown in us hope for the dead. All God is on Mount Sinai and shown Resurrection, Brugayo, 
मृगायो दसबो वद मऊतो वजरा सबरो दुहाया सुमी से Yeah. 